So I'm here with James and tonight we played Gosport Borough and unfortunately we've gone down 2-0. Um, so James, we had a really good start and plenty of corners, um, good pressure on the ball and a couple of good chances from Curtis and Bedford in the first half. How did you find the first half? Yeah, I thought the first half was, was really good, um, really positive, tempo was good. Um, we had good shape when we didn't have the ball. We were winning the ball back in good areas um, and probably had uh, you know, two or three really good chances first half. Keepers you know, made a good save from Luke Cannaway's volley. Um, you know, the, the defender clear one off the line um, as well. So yeah, really pleased with the first half. Yeah, so it's fairly even, even match in the first half. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you know we both create chances. I think probably ours were a little bit more clear cut first half, but um, you know they're the sort of chances that you've got to be taking um, to to get results in this league. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so yeah, we came out in the second half and uh, Gosport seemed a little bit more lively when they came out. Um, we had some really good attacking football from Rose, um, who made his debut tonight. Um, came close and then get Gospel came back out and had a, had a few shots on goal, um, which, which went wide. So, were you happy with Rose's debut tonight? Yeah, I thought, um, you know, Akeem did really well. He's been out injured um, for a little while and been training for three weeks full time um, over at Weymouth. Um, so, match fitness is a little bit different and he's sort of slowly working his way back into that. But I think he showed glimpses of what he can do, he's got good pace, um, you know, he's nicked the ball well, he's got a couple of good shots off, um, so yeah, really pleased with what he okay. So in the 75th minute, unfortunately, um, Gospel got their first goal, a uh, bit of a free header from a corner ball, how did you think that goal came about? Yeah, they changed their shape half time, uh, made double substitution, changed their shape, matched us up, um, <coughs> they brought a bit of experience on the midfield, which you know, was promising for them, it, it sort of got hold of the game a little bit. Um, yeah, and they had a bit of sustained pressure, a couple of corners, and they just um, just got a little bit of a run on one of our players, and you know, hit, hit the crossbar, and unfortunately for us, it was the underside and went went down and in rather than back out. Yeah, and then three minutes later, they scored again. Um, the keeper was seemed a bit bit off his line after one clearance. Um, how did you think that goal came about? Yeah, we dealt with the first ball. Um, you know, they put a second ball back in. Cully sort of come to close the angle down and it's been lifted over him um, and then there was you know, a bit of a, a scramble in the box and I think one of our players was on the line got a block on it but the refs said it's gone over so I think it was the linesman who called the, called the goal on that okay. one wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so but you, you know the lads kept on pressing, Bill came close towards the end um, I think that you know the two lads who debuted tonight did really well would you agree with that? Yeah, like I say, Akeem was, was really good. Um, Xander in centre midfield, uh, yeah, quality on the ball, um, keeps it really well, moves it. Um, but yeah, both of them just sort of you know, coming back and, and getting match fitness. Um, Jez Bedford, I thought, was, was just very good again tonight. Uh, um, and yeah, I think it's you know, much, much better all round tonight, um, just taking the chances you know, when they come up and, and being ruthless. Yeah, exactly. Um, is there any more s signings on the horizon, do you think? Um, we've obviously signed uh, Jack uh, from Eastley. Um, unfortunately, Beaconsfield haven't released his, his forms because he'd signed on earlier in the season with them. Um, so he was unavailable tonight, but he'll be available Saturday. Um, possibly there's, there's some approaches going in. Um, obviously, you have to wait on, on those. Uh, and we've also got Braggy coming back from suspension on Saturday as well. Brilliant. Well, thanks, for, thanks, night, James, and uh, we'll see you on Saturday. No problem. Cheers, mate.